guys, this is Hector Favela with Calso Belay, and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to SIR, or that's how to submit your statement of intent to register. Now that you've decided on what school you want to attend in the fall, uh, let's talk about what you have to do next. So in order for you to attend that school in the fall, you'll need to submit your statement of intent to register. And that just means that you're committed to attending that school in the fall. So for example, all the Cal States, all the UCs, and uh, all the private schools have this deadline of May 1st. So by May 1st, you have to have made your decision on what school you'll want to attend. One thing you definitely want to do before you SIR is you want to review all the information you received from that specific school with your college advisor or your college counselor. So you want to make sure someone reviews your financial aid package, make sure that uh, it's a good fit for you. You want to make sure that you figure out your housing situation. If you're going to have to commute, you have to figure out that situation as well. So some schools are going to require a non-refundable deposit and usually these range anywhere from $100 to $250. The good thing is that this money will go towards your tuition. However, I want you to keep in mind that many schools will ask you for this deposit at the same time that you submit your SIR. All right, so once you've decided what school to attend, you wanna go ahead and log into that school's portal. So in this case, we're gonna be using uh, Cal State Northridge, right? So let's say you're gonna to go to Cal State Northridge. It'll tell you right here, congratulations, you've been admitted. And you wanna click right here where it says intent to register. You're gonna go ahead and click on that. For other schools, it'll look a little bit different. It'll look something like this, right? So you've been admitted to Cal State Long Beach, you have the green check, and you wanna go and uh, click, uh, click right here where it says accept or decline. Go ahead and click on that, and it'll look something like this, right? So you wanna make sure you take your time when you're reading this. And you're going to go ahead and click accept if you want to go to that school. If not, you can go ahead and click uh, decline, right? Another school, for example, USC, it'll look something like this. You'd go ahead and click, yes, I intend to register. And pretty much as soon as you're done, uh, once you hit submit, it'll go ahead and ask you for the, the deposit, right? The non-refundable deposit. So remember, once you commit yourself to the school and you send in that deposit, it's non-refundable. So that means that you, you won't be able to get that money back. So some of the frequent questions and scenarios that we run into when we're working with students is what if a student is waitlisted to their top choice? So if this is your situation, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is accept the waitlist offer from your top choice. However, we still need you to SIR to a different school. And the reason why we're gonna do this is because let's say your top choice can't get you off of their waitlist or they can't offer you admission, then by SIRing to your second choice or to a different school, then you'll still be able to attend college in the fall. Another question we get asked is, can a student SIR to two schools or more? Um, honestly, this is a case by case basis and it can get a little bit tricky. So if this is your situation or you're a little bit confused or you need some help, feel free to contact us. Our email is calsopla at gmail.com. You can also leave a comment down below or uh, feel free to leave us a DM and then we'll go ahead and we'll get back to you. So what if a student can't afford the SIR payment? So if this is your situation, definitely contact the Office of Admissions or the Admissions Office at the school that you're interested in, in attending. They usually have some type of process to either push the payment back or just to waive the payment entirely. So for example, uh, Cal State LA does have a process like that in place uh, for the COVID-19 uh, pandemic. So if this is your situation, all you have to do is explain the financial hardship that your family is facing. Uh, however, just keep in mind that if you're going to be submitting this to Cal State LA, uh, it's like an SIR. So you're committing to uh, attend Cal State LA. And I'm going to leave the link here down below.